one of those days where you just have all the luck in the world. So Clapham Junction, this is my journey today and I'm going to go on the overground because I'm on my way to Shoreditch. So I'm on my street art tour. I just begin the tour. About five, ten minutes earlier, I was sat at a coffee shop having a cup of coffee, waiting for the tour to start and meet up with my friends. I start the tour and we happen to go back by the coffee shop and who sat where I was? Only the legend, Rio Ferdinand. What do I do? I stop and have a chat with him and he's ever so kind. He actually does take time and have a talk with me and um, it, he's just a gentleman, an absolute gentleman. I can't stay for long because I'm being told to hurry up because I'm holding up the tour. Um, so I carry on. But he is down to earth, a great guy. And, you know, it was only for a few moments of meeting him but he left a very positive, lasting impression. So I am at Shoreditch. Actually spraying at the minute and they're being filmed. Oh, spray painting. In action. Let's zoom into him. Interesting to see what the final product is. These are all containers, I've been told. It said it on that Shoreditch Box Park. There are various opinions in regards to street art or graffiti. Is it legal or illegal? Is it art? Or vandalism. This tour allows me to explore and take in a snapshot of what the street art in London is like. As human beings we have always graffitied or left our mark. It's centuries old from scratchings and carvings on stone walls to masons signing their name inside buildings, castles, monasteries and so on. Soldiers have even been known to leave their name in the trenches. So it's not a new phenomena. However, the street art that we know as graffiti today was primarily started in, um, in the USA in subways. And this is what we see at the moment um, with tagging, using spray paint, permanent markers and we think of this as graffiti. So is this a way of expression or is it vandalism? Is it actually art? the largest outdoor mural. This building is owned by a tech company. At the time of filming this video in August 2022, Prince Charles, who, who is now King Charles III, visited this area a few years ago and he remarked that this was the ugliest building in London. So what did they do? They painted it. This involved 16 artists collaborating with Amnesty International to create this mural known as Connectivity Matters. Again, in this proximity, we have um, a statue of Shakespeare. 
and one might think why do we have a statue of Shakespeare well art and artists performing arts has always been important in this area of London and there is a story to be told here so there was a dispute between the landowner and the artists of the um, theatre company at the time and he was the landowner was told by the artists and Shakespeare was amongst was amongst them that you may own the land but you don't actually own the art that occupies that land so the artists of the time on a cold winter's day turned up with carpenters and they dismantled the building they transported it piece by piece to the banks of the Thames for storage a few months later they rebuilt the theatre on the south bank and it is today known as the Globe Theatre there is approximately 500 years of artistic heritage in this area London's graffiti has a particular style. It's becoming crisp. Best ever, the artist, you can notice his style with the bold geometric pieces. Here we can see a hand with a love-hate tattoo on the knuckles. It's holding a letter from a carrier pigeon. This is by the artist Nomad. And then we have Love Pusher. This is the crystal ball. Can you read what it says? Give you a second. It actually says future in the middle of the ball. George the dog. Shoreditch, London. Look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're in Redchurch Street. Oh God. Oh, look. It's a cat. Yeah. Through that sort of smoke glass door. The artist Dot Masters, you can see that um, across this wall is written, I don't like this anymore. This is in reference to the pandemic, a collaboration of artists actually um, produced this piece. So you had Dot Masters, you had Doncaster and Ben Ein. These are predominant artists in, the, um, in this area. Um, the deal is that the art is here today, it might be gone tomorrow. That's one big piece. They've got like a template with them.
So here we have this um, portrait or mural or painting of a lady. So basically, the styles that they use, the artists use, is to cover wall with to cover the wall with doodles, letters, numbers, because you can see how large it is. Whatever works for them to get the perspective and the um, to create the piece correctly. Um, it's fantastic to watch them at work. Pandas picked up from the pandemic. That's a little joke. I actually don't know where to look. It's all so wonderful and it's, it, as you walk, your eyes are drawn to rooftops, to, to the top of buildings, to the, to the pavements. It is really, there's so much to see. have mushrooms and eat street art battles uh, five minutes to see um, what you can come up with um, this is really interesting um, and they do have this quite often if we walk down Whitby Street we can see the Whitby Street Lady by Jimmy C uh, in the style of pointillism this brightens up the street, it's great to see. So we're in Brick Lane. This area has gone through transformation over the last hundred years or so. Oh, bagel shop. Oh, I do fancy a bagel. Yeah. Yeah. This was quite funny. This is a bagel shop mm. with no bagels. I think we've arrived too late. This piece is art made out of string. Um, this used to be an area where they used to have textile industry and workshops full of tailors um, and little side shops where you had little mini factories with people working. So this is actually made out of string and you can see them dotted around. <laughs> There used to be a camp down here, I'm sure, but this area has changed and altered over the last few years. So as we're walking down the street, you can see so many artistic styles, and um, materials that are used in their street art. So we walked down the weavers' houses and they used what they had, the materials that they had at their disposal for the artwork. So Adrian Boswell is the famous artist. He has a studio here. And he is the one that has these broccolis, neon broccolis everywhere that we see. Very popular in Japan. Um, and having a look at his work, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm very tempted to, to buy some pieces myself. But yeah, I did catch up and have a chat with him. Very lucky to meet the man um, himself. Are you Adrian? I am. Oh, yeah. oh. 
Yeah, he's just gone down. I don't know his name. Uh, it's it's um, Nathan. Small. I don't know. A small guy. Yeah, I better go. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm going to lose them. We'll come back. Yeah, come back again. I must catch up with the group. I'm getting behind. Right, these masks that you see are by Citizen Kane. You've got statues on the building to highlight male suicide rates. It's quite actually shocking. You've got Space Invader is another one. Pink Dinosaurs. This is in reference to the credit crunch 14 years ago. And this piece is the last remaining authentic Banksy. You'd never think of it to look at it. One person we can all name from this um, artistic movement is Banksy, I'm sure. And uh, so this is one of his pieces. It had been preserved, but it looks like it's uh, in a dire strait at the moment of repairs and some more preservation because the plastic isn't preserving it. There was a stencil in the front window of the driver's side, but I think it's been removed now. So that stencil was a, of a white skeleton. I can't see it from, from where I am. brewery down here and we walk past a Gandhi portrait okay. and that's a mosque so like used to be a church, church. So then a synagogue Cats. and now a mosque that walking my friends and I do stop off at the pub okay so this is where we're going into the pride of Spitalfields always going into a pub me this pub in itself and you'll find them all over London the very old quaint pubs packed with history um, and as you can see from the photos on the walls would I recommend coming on a tour like this yes most definitely if you've enjoyed my videos, please hit the like button, subscribe and the bell so you can be notified. In Jolly Genius as well, we make the most of our opportunities.